So students, baat chal rahi hai about the data link protocols. Students, traditionally, I told you that there are four protocols that are normally used at the data link layer. Students, the first one of those protocols is called the simple protocol. So let's move on to the discussion of simple protocol. Students, in this particular case, the reason it's called a simple protocol is, is because it is simple. And the reason it's simple is because the simple protocol does not use any flow control. It does not use any error control. Nothing at all. And the reason that, uh, that happens is because we have got an assumption here, which uh, we assume that the receiver can immediately handle any uh, data that it receives as soon as it receives it. So we are assuming that the receiver is not going to be overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the data that's coming from the, from the sending side at all. Doesn't matter how much data the, the receiver receives, it will never um, uh, it will never get full, in other words, or it will be able to consume all the data that's coming from the source. Up students, on the slide, you can see that we have got a, an example of a simple protocol. We have got a logical link, uh, data link layer ki baat kar rahe, and that's why the link is logical, nothing physical here. Um, and in this case, you can see that there are some frames that are sent from the data link layer to the data link layer of the sending node to the data link layer of the receiving node. Our students, um, in this particular case, the frame that gets to the receiving node, data link layer, it gets consumed immediately. So the receiving node, it receives this data, extracts the packet out of that particular frame, and then passes on that frame to the network layer. So this is where the packet gets broken down into a frame, or it gets encapsulated at the data link layer. And then at the data link layer of the receiving side, it gets decapsulated. The packet is taken out of the frame and it gets transmitted to the network layer. And what we are, what we are assuming is that there is no um, flow control or error control that's required. With this, uh, the, the receiving node can actually consume the data as soon as it receives or whatever the speed is of the data that it receives from the sending end. Students, so a finite state machine for the simple protocol. Um, first figure on the top, you can see that the start state is ready. So the system is ready. This is your sending node, by the way. And what happens is it actually makes a frame and it sends it. So um, the sender side, the event for this particular uh, state machine at the sending side is that a packet is going to come from the network layer. So layer three or the network layer sends a packet down to the um, data link layer. And that is our event in this particular case. So as soon as this event happens in this finite state machine, um, what this machine is going to do is it will make a frame and it will send it. And, and then it will come back to its loop. It will come back to the same ready state again. And it will start listening to layer three uh, for the arrival of the next packet again. Students, so at the receiving node, the, at the receiving node, the event is that the frame arrives from the sender. So this is your event now. You've got a start state of ready. So what happens when the frame arrives? It actually delivers the, extracts the packet and delivers it to the network layer and creates this loop and comes back to the same ready state again. Students, so an example study in which there is a communication happening between the sending node and the receiving node um, uh, using this simple protocol. The sender sends the frame one after the other without even thinking about the receiver in this case because we don't have any flow control, we don't have any error control. Students, we got, uh, uh, forget about the network layer. It's just shown there so that you know that the packet comes down at the sending node from the network layer and then um, data link layer frames it and then sends it. So the first thing happens uh, that happens is um, the packet is, is sent from the network layer to the data link layer. The data link layer converts it into the, into the frame and sends it to the data link layer of the receiving node, logical connection. The receiving node extracts the packet and sends that to the network layer. Um, and then this process carries on without any acknowledgement, without any um, flow control, without any error control. Uh, we keep on going. Uh, sender keeps on sending the packet and receiver keeps on receiving it.